Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with the legendary Iron Man playthrough. Operation Ch Swamp Chalice is upon us. This is episode number 50, so we got uh, quite further than I originally anticipated, but I'm still enjoying the mod a lot. So we're going to go about that and continue for now. So we do have the Grey Knights here that are... It's the Grey Knights, right? No. It is the Space Wolves. My bad. We got the Space Wolves here that are trying to get a couple of resource caches. Uh, seven to nine enemies, which means we're going to be a bit wild and are trying to go for four to five resource cache, uh, caches and uh, then are going to extract we got faceless ones up here so that'll be a bit of a problem but i'm sure we can manage somehow forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves cool non-timed mission and transponders and firebrand will handle the rest we're coming in to a couple of crates i like that uh, some more, but we got a crate buck. No need to ask twice. Got it. Got it. Okay, we're not going to lose our concealment yet. That was some door over here that opened. Trying to figure out which ones of these are crates that we can pick. Pretty sure some of them up there could be. There's something out there. High ground is or would be very, very helpful. And we're seeing our first enemies. Let's get into position before they reach us, shall we? Got it. Move to there so that we do have a second crate. Closing on target position now. Third crate up there, fourth there. Not sure about these things. Get it there now. Scanning. Next turn we can start to trigger. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, uh, we're just going to start. Get these guys down. <clears throat> I don't think that we would have gotten a much better ambush on them, even if we tried. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Good marking, a lot of supplies. Flanking her. Good, but not good enough. Marking more supplies. Continuing to flank her. And I think what we want to do is hand over a command point. That way we keep concealment. And telephone. No, 
All right, back. So. Of course, more Advent Forces. I should have thrown a evac as well. Good, we've gotten three crates, so that's almost as many as we wanted. So we're doing very well for ourselves, thank you. All right. Moves to here, hopefully not triggering anything. That'll mark the supply. Fortify just for good measure. Two, four, five, six. Now nah, we can live with that. Still saving double shot for a later occasion. Taking up more loot. Can't move all the way to there, and that's unfortunately out of range. So I guess what we're going to do is more carefully forward, starting to stupidly charge in, or just carefully hunkering down, accepting that Advent gets a crate as well. And I think we've got our fourth crate, which is now in the zone of four to five crates that I wanted to get. Maybe we can get even a few more. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Good. Moving in. Two more crates here, one more crate, I think, over there. Double time. There now. Full right. cover, high ground, perfect. Haven't seen anything anywhere. Okay. Oh wow, these are advanced purifiers. Mm, that was a good uh, chance to hit them. Moving up. They are too far away from us. So they can't really come to us unless they rush in, in which case the kill zone should teach them a valuable life lesson. Blinding protocol to make it a bit worse for them. And what am I seeing here? These guys haven't triggered yet, but I'm sure they will next turn. I could have gotten that crate. <coughs> That was an oversight. Clearly could have just moved here, taken the crate. 
I oh, said some good shredding. That's a kill. Okay, so I got one. And we missed out on this one. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of extra damage. Chip damage, as they say. The Naja is the sniper. We can't let her live. Prime target for us. Unfortunately, not a kill. Got a flashbang, which we could use, I suppose, on both of these guys. Um, Whom do we kill? I think this guy here is definitely deserving of a nice little kill. I like our position, we're in a super strong position here. Moving over here to mark another crate. Kill the purifier. Should not destroy the wall, but at least destroy her, thanks to a nice little grenade thrower. Good, cover is still intact. And you two. Disorient yourself. Healing John. Let's move already. We're being a bit greedy and trying to get as many supplies as humanly possible, uh, including a bit of a slash arena here. Teamwork. Into moving to there. Into cyclic fire for the purifier. One could say he was a cyclic purifier. to make sure that this guy dies. For you. 
and then we're picking up the rest of the loot and whatever we can get. Yo, faces ones. <laughs> Hello. Good, our evac zone is there. Pick up what you can. And let's get out of here. Move into position. All of the loot that we can carry. Got some goods here. Slash this guy. Very nice. And you know what? Let's just slash him again. Okay. Any more crates anywhere? Just double checking, maybe some of uh, these here are crates that we can take. Okay. Good, reinforcements are now coming in. Bubble. Runs to here. And since he's uh, the one that has the longest way to run, we're Oscar Miking for good measure. Frodo moves up. Bubble moves up. Hmm. Okay, this apparently is not a crate. Nah. In which case, Let's move to here. We got like what nine? That's vastly, vastly outperforming what I wanted. End of turn. Yeah, when, when you do have low force uh, ratings, the missions are still easier. It's complete different <clears throat> look and feel when you're in such a mission here. And the pack size is like two. And then you can kill them and move on at the same time. As opposed to pack size is like crazy crazy high and you don't you don't even know how to manage the first pack let alone where to get uh, all of the turns to collect crates and so on from Let's see if we can kill one. Answer is, as always, not good. <clears throat> and we get some extra AP for a 
quote air quote uh, difficult mission uh yeah not sure if that if it was that difficult We got nine crates. That's a lot of income. Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Very good. Rescue protocol. Uh, your ranged uh, weapons gain. Oh, okay. Against unflankable. Um, I think we're rather taking this one here. Although, hmm, survival instinct isn't bad either, and dedication isn't bad either. So we're just going to wait. Eight days. Rough, but okay. But we got a lot out of it. Okay, got 11 scientists now, which is absolutely great. But now we have a lot to do on the globe, uh, global map. A lot. Let's start with SWAT management. And this time I am sure, I'm not uh, misremembering, the Space Wolves had an additional, uh, an additional soldier that they wanted to take. Dune here, who is the best buddy of uh, Shady, the real Slim Shady by the way, all of the others are imitators. Cool, so that works very very well, which brings us to the question, where do we put that Grenadier? Might as well put him here. Got a technician, but there is no reason to not have a grenadier and a technician. Alternatively, mix this team here, uh, team up a little bit. But whom would we take out? We could take out an assault, and then the technician would be frontline because they are not mashing up uh, very well so far. So Hunk could go into a different team, into a different chapter. Normally Space Marines don't like switcheroo in their chapters, but trying to get a couple of bonds without, uh, without rocking the boat too much. I would <laughs> an assault. Can these guys here use an assault? No, they cannot. They already have one. The Imperial Fists are a trainings regimen. You know what? Am I rather taking an assault or a grenadier? Difficult choice. Let's just leave the team as is. This one here was performing very well in the last mission, so I don't want to rock the boat too much. Okay, which then brings us to the actual cleanup that needs to happen. Grey Knights will do their thing, but we wanted to just. Uh, destroy an alien relay and that is the liberation mission good on the liberation mission i would say we're putting up one of our best teams and they would take a while to infiltrate but that's a good infiltration in my book i still need to update their equipment all right, we're ready to go. 125% if they infiltrate correctly. <clears throat> Let's go. Good, Blood Angels are good. Next up, Smash and Grab mission. Again, huge time until we can do the mission. 
Could do a mission with our with the salamanders just to get them some levels. Uh, they are almost ready, I would say. The space wolves. It's a mission which takes a long time uh, for an infiltration, so. Let's just double check whom we can put onto this mission. Tarek could help. And this could be a mission where we're putting another spark on. Can put Dreadnought into it. Hit points are still fine. Don't be a baby. You need to train first, you need to train first, then we could put D.Va on it. That would make it seven days of infiltration. Question is, should we just go with the five days of infiltration? And fight a very light battle, I think that's the better idea. And to be entirely honest, since this is such a such an easy to infiltrate mission, might as well take just five days. Oh wait, yeah, it would be ten days. Never mind. But yeah, I'll I'll equip the guys real quickly. Good, that's a team. The Salamanders uh, are a team that could. Uh, infiltrate for a long period of time I don't mind and if they end up fighting against four packs with this team I don't see what could uh, go wrong uh, psionic storm which on a smash and grab mission might mean <coughs> taking this here with us yeah okay not crowd controllable, not crowd controllable, uh, mind controllable that is, uh, out of range and these two will just need to suck it up. I think overall we're fine, so let the salamander do what the salamander uh, do best, set things ablaze. problem with kind of these long missions is that the team is infiltrating for a very very long time and and uh, this is really the intriguously clever design of the the high vigilance and uh, kind of that escalating uh, problem it becomes inefficient to do missions in such a region from some point onwards which is why I want to basically destroy uh, or liberate uh, the area and uh, and be gone with it because effectively what happens is if you look at the salamanders uh, they will be out of commission now for seven eight days uh, if we go through here in a circle that's maybe two three days four days of infiltration uh, for a small uh, swat and you can uh, you can do all of the missions clear them up and go for the next iteration of mission much much quicker so, yeah, what uh, I tend to do in Long War is I want to liberate the, uh, the regions. I know that there are also plenty other uh, Long War enthusiasts that would uh, basically just leave the region for hiding. But it takes a long time to get from Vigilance 17 all the way down to, let's say, Vigilance 4 or 5. Um, and uh, I actually enjoy the action so when it's being attacked and so on that's cool I like it extra XP extra AP uh, so I don't mind that as a challenge and my theory is rather expand uh, further 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 like we're currently doing it so that you always have fresh territories so these two are currently quote unquote marked uh, to, liber uh, to liberate that'll happen uh, next ish and this is then the next mission for uh, the next territory for missions We're already prepping it so that the liberation chain this time goes through we have the same ordeal down here 
once we have recruited enough people, we can uh, start uh, using this year as, as the next area where we're doing uh, where we're doing missions. We have plenty of intel really to uh, go around, so I feel very comfortable uh, taking uh, North America so that we get noble cause. Uh, we know there is a, fa uh, a facility here, so um, kind of need to make our way there as well at some point. But yeah, as time progresses, we'll be okay with it. The black side is far, far away, but we can basically go to here uh, next and then uh, make our way to Western Europe. Cool, Quake is done with his training. As you can see, we have two further uh, trainings possible. And I want to take Fortress whenever possible because it is such an absolute monster of an ability. Soul Steel, mwah. very good ability as well. I think we're going to go for Fuse because it's a free action and it has proven to be very good. One of my favorite skills so far. Another mission. See, and if we do have something like that, uh, might as well. For East Asia. Might as well take uh, take it up. Clear the SWAT. Uh, who is going to take that small mission? I think the Grey Knights might be a good bunch to take that. And having Diva here uh, will give them four days of infiltration. That is quick and easy. Let me equip them. All right, equip them and let's start the infiltration with these Grey Knights. Also always good to have a uh, Psyker around get some experience, can continue training afterwards, I like that. It's a good concept that you need to bring them onto the missions and not just sit back and train them until they are maguses and completely destroy everything. Also, it allows um, psych uh, psionic characters to actually see act uh, action before things are happening. By the way, did I see that we got a new rookie? I wasn't sure. Five. Okay, you, my bro, are not going to be anything but a six hit points and 15 movement. That almost asks uh, to be a shinobi. Hacking is so and so. Could be a specialist, but holy. 59. That's not a good uh, aim score. I will say though, you are tough as nails. And as such, you're welcome to be a shinobi. Good, this is uh, liberating the area and we do have three people on this one okay against 15 i think wait hmm. if we boost it that goes down to a reasonable number yep yeah, seven to nine right okay cool so i was accepting negative into and in return we're essentially uh, getting Operation Dawn Wagon uh, to infiltrate. All right, good. That's the liberation uh, chain uh, directly started. We'll get some intel afterwards, so that's fine. And overall, from a research perspective, we're also still okay. I want to continue with Elarium soon. So that'll happen right afterwards. 
Officer was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and we have no negative traits, so that's fine. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Um in terms of SWAT, we got the Space Wolves ready and we got the Imperial Fists whenever we get a easier mission where we can do a bit of training, Corporal, Corporal, Lance, Corporal and Squaddy, that's okay. Um, Hiroki Ataxia uh, just does a f uh, phenomenal job in running back to back to give everybody here the ranks that they need so that we can build up uh, chapters like the Salamander, which besides Aziz, who's uh, Darkrai, who has been with us for a while, uh, all of the others really, really came out of, quote-unquote, the school of the Imperial Fists. So that uh, concept works uh, very well. Whether or not I need it on every single um, officer is a question. I potentially should have only taken it on a taxi. But okay. Water under the bridge, that is uh, fine. We can always reskill if we desire to do that. For now, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to see each other in the next episode. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye.